Nagowski has joined me. She is a holistic health counselor. She came all the way from New York to be here with us today. Yes, I And do. I asked her the most important question. Are you a Rangers fan? She said no. I said no. you can stay. <laughs> and I'm going to make her rock the red before the end of the segment. So we wanted to talk to you first. Um, you hear a lot. It seems like paleo is kind of like a, a buzz diet right now. Exactly. Like paleo is a new thing. But yeah. actually, the paleo diet is the caveman diet or the stone age diet. So the philosophy really is think about what our ancestors ate and how they lived off of the land, right? So they didn't so, have anything processed. And nothing processed. And another thing that um, what is eliminated with a paleo diet is inflammatory foods. Is that, would that be a paleo thing? Yes, everything should be a whole food form. Whole food form, yes. nothing done to it, just nothing natural as a, is. Yes, not in a prepackaged. Okay, right, okay. So now, what is this versus a vegan diet? Well, vegans have another way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. Vegans actually, they're a vegetarian diet and they take out your meat, your poultry, and your fish. But vegans actually go a step further mm -hmm. and they take out any animal products, including um, eggs and dairy. Mm -hmm. So it's, veganism is really like a way of life. And so what would be good to put on top of this here, Tara? I think you should put a little bit of avocados to get some healthy fats. Mm -hmm. I would also go with some spinach mm -hmm. and maybe some sprouts. So as I'm building this, Kind of give me the pros and cons of these two diets. Well, um, with vegans, what's the pros really are is that you're eating an abundant amount of nutrient-rich plant-based foods. Mm -hmm. So you're getting all your vitamins and your minerals, right? Mm -hmm. Another thing that's really great about it is that you're saving the animals and the environment by cutting down on the livestock farming and animal agriculture. Mm -hmm. Some of the cons, though, are some of the cons, though, are is that sometimes vegans need to take extra supplements because they're not getting as much vitamins in their food intake. Well, obviously, it yeah. yeah. It, it, you can maybe put a little bit of it into your diet if you don't want to do it wholeheartedly. MyFoxDC.com is our website. We have a link to not only the counter but to Tara as well. And let me go ahead and taste this. It's good. It's a veggie burger. I think you might need the stinking burger for it to be an actual hamburger. But anyway, we're going to talk more about whole foods and gluten-free coming up in our next hour.